that way this would do. The I've had maybe a few twenty ones and twenty five year olds that they say that they're there. Um, they actually got a foot in the door after after school and stuff like that. Education was already completed. They got their foot in the door to that job that they're gonna actually looking for the long term. They're gonna do their like, twelve to fifteen years in, you know, get their all their benefits and all that stuff and out there like that. Income's gonna climb up, have salary. Um, they're asking for what is the what is the next step? Like once they have their career set, like what would you recommend? A lot of reason young men ask this question, you know, because I've, I've gotten this question before from just friends in general. The only reason you get this type of question is because your parents actually planned your life for you. You went to college because of something that your parents wanted you to do. You studied a field because of something your parents wanted you to do. They wanted you to be financially stable. So maybe you became a doctor, you became a lawyer, you became an engineer, et cetera. And then you got a, you got a job in that field. Now it's like, okay, now you're in a position where you're actually supposed to plan your life. And you've never done that. You haven't done that since you were pretty much born. You've always been under somebody else's um, direction. So I would say this, if you're a young man, you're getting out of college and you have a job, you're, um, you're starting that adult life stage, I would say slow down, you know, because you're told that you're supposed to do things so fast. You know, you're, you're told that you're supposed to get the girl quick, supposed to get the career quick, supposed to do all this stuff. Now you're at the point in your life where you can actually plan and figure out who you are and what's right for you. So I would slow things down and I would just start reading books that I always wanted to read. I would do things, now that you're not around your friends anymore, I would do things that I was always curious about. If you're interested in dancing, go dance. You know, I've, I've, I've always been interested in learning different types of dance. I haven't done it. But one thing that I did after I finished playing college football, um, I just got off the phone with a, a, a old teammate of mine. Right when I finished playing football, there were three things I did that just like immediately changed my life and opened up doors for me and had me living life I'm living now. I started reading more books. Mm. I started, I taught myself how to play classical guitar. I grew up rapping a lot with my friends and I just never took it serious. I told them if I ever take it serious, I'm going to learn how to play an instrument. Mm. And then I got into martial arts. You know, I started martial arts when I was 18, but I couldn't commit to it because of just football, football in school. Mm. So once I finished that, I got back into martial arts mm. and doing things that I love that make me who I am. It just, it, 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 it make it, it gives me good energy. You know what I'm saying? It makes it, it, it has me waking up every day because I have something to live for and something mm-hmm. to look forward to. Okay. You can answer the next question. And, um, they like, I've, I've said some things like that and be able to set them to where like it helps them identify with themselves and who they are and what they love, like a passion. Like they, they're always still worried about how does that woman, how can I find a girl that's going to fit into all this that I'm, that I'm liking. You don't find the woman that's going to fit into your life until you find out who you are. Mm. That's the truth. Okay. You know, you have to, you have to date, you have to get your heart broken. You have to be put your, you have to be really, you, you have to be really, um, you, you have to be willing to not lose when you're actually pursuing women. You know, you have to go through this because once you go through those hard times, you're able to come back to earth and then analyze the situation for what it is. Mm. It's going to make, it's going to let you know what you can deal with and what you can't deal with. And secondly, after that, after you went through that stage, you have to have a plan for your life because a woman can't follow you if you have no plan. You need something for a woman. You need something for a woman to step into. Mm. Like I said, um, I'm doing things right now. You're doing things. We're hustling. We're building our a name, our brand. Yeah. So any woman that we're dealing with, they're going to have to step into that and complement that and work with that. If they're going to try to prevent us from actually hustling and doing the things, follow, following the journey, the direction that we want to follow then we know that that woman is not for us. And a lot of times the woman that you think like the woman you ideally think is going to be right for you. Mm. In most cases that won't be the right woman. You know, sometimes the person that's right for you may not look the way you expected them to look, but exactly. they may fit exactly where you need them to fit. Exactly. Exactly. Pick it back on to my next question is going to be, um, I've had a, a little handful of guys that like, just like, they they understand it. You can tell that they they hear and they know that that woman's not right. But they're still they don't care. They they still want that woman. Like um, I had a guy that's like real had a few questions on how to get around um, a couple bumps in the road with a set of woman that was just very like very really assertive. It's actually uh, one of his bosses at at a job. Obviously, she has like maybe a little bit of masculine traits. She's real aggressive. Um, he's one of, he wanted tips on how to how to break the ice with her. And, and he was saying that he was accepting that he was like a, a beta type of male. Like he, he but he said, I mean, I'm reading her body language and she's just like, I, I think she needs a guy to just 
do what she do what she needs. Like like she seemed like she always wants to do everything herself. And I was just like, yeah, man, I I, I don't see like a fit the way you're describing it. He just was ignoring it. And he was just, oh man, like, okay, I thought you'd just be able to give me the answer that I needed, but it's like he didn't want to he didn't want to shake the answer. I can't say too much about this woman because you know, um, you just everybody's different. You can't control people. Mm. But I will say this: the reason that men deal with women who are cooperative or who give them a hard time, and it goes the same. It goes the same way for men who deal with men in their circles who are giving them a hard time or just aren't supportive. Mm. It comes down to you. On some level, you don't like yourself. You're insecure. You don't think you're good enough. You don't think you deserve better. Mm. So you settle for that. You know, because if, if you loved yourself and you set a standard and you had boundaries, you wouldn't even be asking that question. You know what I'm saying? That person wouldn't even be in your life. It's mm-hmm. the same thing for friends. Friends who you love and you grew up with that have your back and then they start hating on you when you're doing something. Mm-hmm. The reason you keep them around, you keep them around. Yes, you have that emotional connection to those people. But that's on some level, you feel like you deserve the type of uh, treatment that they're giving you. So I would ask myself the question, like, why? Why am I dealing with this woman when there's other women who are kinder, who are willing to treat me better. Very, very true. Where, like, where would you recommend for him to look, like, elsewhere? Obviously, he's it's easier to be around the same people eight hours a day at work and stuff like that. Like, like, where would you recommend to per se to say, hey, man, look, maybe just add, put more eggs in your basket, you know, like, just don't focus on this one. Maybe someone else fits. Like, where, where should he search? It's dangerous dating women on the job because, um, you can basically lose what you built. Mm -hmm. But I would say if you're trying to meet women, I would say, first off, you know, make sure that you're presentable, make sure that you're in shape, do the best that you can to get in shape. Dressing well goes a long way, regardless of what your body type is, if you dress well. So make sure those two things are on point. And then after that, you can meet women everywhere, anywhere, man. You can go to the gym and meet women. You can meet women at yoga. I'm not sure your boy is located, but you can meet women at like, um, I want to say like dance clubs or stuff like that. Mm, But just the best thing that you should do, a lot of times when you're speaking to a woman, you're already thinking, and I used to do this, you're already thinking what it would be like to sleep with that woman. Mm. You shouldn't go that fast Mm. in your mind. You should be thinking like, I need to figure out who this woman is. I want to get to know her. I want to see, make sure she's not crazy. I promise you, if you have that mindset, conversation will go a lot more smoothly because you're actually vetting this woman rather than just trying to say the right things and do everything to get in her pants. Okay. Okay, I can see that. 